Barry in Long Island, best and worst of the weekend. Hey, Barry. Good morning, fellas. As a uh, Met fan for over 50 years, there hasn't been a best of the weekend since 1986. Uh, obviously, the worst of the weekend, uh, that Schmendrick, Javi Baez, basically giving us uh, the finger. Um, you know, this is not St. Louis where, uh, you know, you fail game after game after game after game, and the fans sing Kumbaya and bring you milk and cookies after the game. Uh, I think I'm going to go tomorrow just to, just to boo. No. Oh. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Right. Boy. Thank you, Barry. Yes, Paul. But for a Mets fan to goof on St. Louis Cardinals fans for not criticizing their players when they lose game after game after game is flawed because the St. Louis Cardinals don't lose game after game after game. They're always competitive. They're always in the playoff line. So Javi Baez has had enough of New York Mets fans booing him, and he decided to take matters into his own hands, literally, because uh since he came to the Mets at the trade deadline, he's batting 207. Three homers in five RBI, 16 games. Fans have been booing him. He's been struggling and uh, came over from Chicago. And they don't boo in Chicago. Um, they're either, you know, drinking or you know, what else are they doing there? Ordering the next beer. Oh, that's right. Now... It, he he won there. He's a very good player there, and it's different. But you come to the Mets, and the Mets are just – they're waiting for something positive to happen. I mean, keep in mind, the Mets have a 9-20 and record since the trade deadline. They have dropped out of first place, and they're out of the playoff picture as well. Well, Javi Baez had a gesture to the fans, and uh, he was basically giving a thumbs down to the fans after hitting a home run. And uh, here's what Javi Baez had to say about that gesture after the game. It just it just feels bad when 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 we strike when I strike out and I get booed. You know it doesn't really get to me, but like I want I want to let them know that when we success, we're gonna do the same thing to to know how to to let them know how how it feels. You know because if we win together, then we we gotta lose together. You know and 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 the fans are really big part of it. So they they gotta be better. You know I, I play for the fans and I love the fans, but you know if. If they're going to do that, they, they're just putting more pressure on the team. And, and that's, not, that's not what we want. So are, is that a thumbs down to fans then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to let them know that, that when, we, when we don't get success, we're going to get booed. So we, they're going to get booed when, when, we, when we success. Okay. Does he have a point in any of this? Would a more supportive fan base be better? I, I never understood when fans boo. Like, I know you paid the, the uh, price to come into the game. Uh, you're, you're paying part of their salaries, or at least you're, you're going to feel that way. Does booing your player, your team, help? Does it help the player and the team? Now, it might help you because you're angry, and this is your team, and you want to win, and you're tired of seeing this movie every single year. It ends the same way. Hopes die. If if I'm going to boo, it, this is the, so my fan, my my team. If I'm a fan, I'm going to boo if you don't give me effort. If you don't run out a ground ball, if you pose after what you think is a home run and you end up, you know, getting thrown out at second base, then I have a problem with that. But can you imagine another sport? Think of another sport where we look at a player and we know he's not giving 100%. He's not giving full effort. When's the last time you did that in football? Guys take plays off in football all the time. Nobody is booing. Basketball. Do you really notice when somebody's going to take a night off? Now, you might say, well, LeBron's not playing defense. Okay. Okay. But when you're in baseball and you're at the plate, you're all alone. It's just you. Like, you're the opera singer. The spotlight's on you. It's just you. You want to boo the opposition? Okay. But to boo your own player, how does, how does that help him? A and I know if you're hobby bias, just play better. That's all. 
What came first, the booze or your poor performance? If he was playing well, then nobody's booing you. The fans want, expect, like there's part of you that has to understand the New York fan base. The Knicks fans still go. They're embarrassing. That team, that product has been embarrassing. They still go. They still want it so badly. The Mets, it's been a long time. The Jets, it's been a long time. It means so much that that's, that's their passion. Booing, I never understood it. Didn't think it helped the player. It's not like the player goes, yeah, I just struck out. Oh, they're booing me. I'm going to try even harder when I get up there. What are you going to do? Swing harder? It doesn't help. But if you're a fan, I, and fans think that you that the players can hear them. Seaton was at an all-star game. Was that uh, Yankee Stadium? Yeah. And And you were at not the top row, but... Second to the last row? I was second to the last row. Yeah, it was like a contest we did, and I brought a, a like listener of the show to the All-Star game, and we had uh, we were in the second to last row, and the guy who was right, sitting right behind us in the last row during batting practice was yelling, Pujols! Pujols, you're a bum! You're a bum! And he did that for about three hours straight. Yeah. Pujols! You're a bum! There's no way... Albert Pujols was hearing this dude that far up. But sometimes you get the guy who's in your section who thinks it's uh, live at the improv and, <laughs> you know, he's going to have some funny lines here. Yes, Todd? Yeah, he's humoring himself. And if he gets the slightest chuckle from, uh, believe me, I know, I'll, I'll grab a, a slight chuckle over total silence anytime. They think that they're performing and they, they must know in the back of their mind there's no way they can hear. But then you have the Baez of the world who react to the fans. And now maybe they, some people do hear the fans. Some of the players do because the, there are examples where the outfielder turns around and smiles or waves or whatever. So that just feeds the whole, I bet you if I scream loud enough, they can hear me and they're going to turn around and say something. Thank you, Todd. Um... Yes, Paulie. And, and it's always funny that the guy who gets called a bum or you suck is usually the best player on earth. Like Albert Pujols, when we were there that night, he's not a bum. You know, like if you're in the crowd that night, he's the least bum. He's hitting like 378. You're a bum. 